Hey guys, how is it going? Joy here once again, uh, coming uh, with three night out fragrances, three sweet fragrances. And uh, the concept for this video came to my mind because it's currently quite late. It's about 2 a.m. in the morning in Kuala Lumpur. So I was just looking at my collection and I was just look, thinking, you know, what kind of a fragrance, what are, the, what are the kind of fragrances that are fit for night and darker, you know, like the when sun is down, it's a bit late and then, you know, something mysterious, something sweet and then sort of like scents that women really love, you know, for going out late at night. So <clears throat> I have many uh, darker fragrances, the night out dark fragrances, but these three I picked up in my collection for a reason, you know, from my collection for a reason. I'll tell you one by one as I go, okay? So, <clears throat> first of all, let me show you the first one, okay? You guys all recognize this bottle. This actually is not the original, but pretty much the same backbone and more or less the same juice. So this is CH Man Carolina Herrera, the uh, man, for men, okay? For him. So basically, the one I have with me is the Grand Tour version, okay? I got this, the limited edition bottle in one of the duty free shops which is uh, lucky I, I found because i was very lucky and then i get later got to know this is one of the limited releases but then i compared this with uh, ch original men ch men uh, i didn't find so much similar like differences basically the backbone and the dna is basically the same so what you get from this this scent it's uh, talked about a lot People talk about today, till date, about reformulations now. People are disappointed and then they are not happy with the longevity and performance, right? But then I'll, let me tell you why this juice is still special. My bottle, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, not that old. It's not from the... Obviously, this one only one time they released. And then the juice actually didn't change much from the original. If let's talk about CH Men, my focus actually tried to be CH Men. The juice would be a little bit amber in color a bit darker grayish amberish juice okay if you can see it's basically the same so my point of ch men why this is a nice scent this is a very sweet fragrance the specialty of ch men is as you guys all know the famous sugarcane note the sugarcane is very intensified sort of a sugar you know the sh as sugarcane as uh, sweet it gets as it gets very pleasant and very uh, like likable kind of a taste and smell as well so Women, you know, because many of us, you know, who are straight, we like to get the attention of women. So basically, we wear scents, sweet scents, to uh, for them to sniff and then for them to like you. You know, like that that liking factor. Okay. So CH men has that factor in them, in it because the sweetness is intensified with somehow with uh, the grassy green note. You know, and then it has a little bit on the top. I think uh, the opening is a sugar burst and then slowly it goes to green and also has some leather in it, the sweet leather. Nothing animalistic, very nice, sits close to your skin. You just need like um, one, two, one on the chest, two on the shirt, one on the arm and on this arm, okay? That's all you need. So this one works really well for the first two hours, projects very nicely and then slowly it will sit to your skin. And it, the way it works is very funny. Sometimes, not funny, but it's very fun, okay? Like sometimes you think, after two hours, bam, this thing is gone. Disappointed, you know, because you <laughs> purchased it. This is not cheap by any means. Still, you have to pay the retail price around 100 bucks in Malaysia. So the thing is, you're thinking, you know, I purchased a fragrance for it to perform, and it doesn't give me the performance. So what the hell, you know? But this thing, why I'm calling it funny, the scent comes back to you from time to time. At times it will feel like it's gone from your skin, but it's not. It's, it's still like very close to your skin. And when the women, they come close to you and give you a hug, all right, they can smell it. And the thing is, I have noticed from my experience, the women, for them, sweet fragrance are like a heaven. So for them, they find it mainly because of the leather note. At the same time, they think it's very sophisticated, sweet, a little bit flirty, you know, that youth vibe. It, it's not older. It doesn't give you that older feel that you get from CH Men Privé, okay? So this is why the this skin scent, so-called skin scent, it lasts on your skin. It, it sits on your skin like a, like a jaguar, you know, like it sits there. Nothing animalistic, but the sweet leatherness, the sweetness 
makes it that much of a nice scent okay so this is why if you think of later on like after having a night out or so and you think of something naughty the women relate that that idea with this kind of fragrance that's why i'm bringing this here that's the whole concept of sweet fragrance so it doesn't matter you go with this and there is a new york or some there's some park some uh, there's a lot of this flankers came out but more or less they just make it little bit changed here and there not much difference from the original ch men only the ch men preve is different that one is winter scent this one can be suited for fall autumn even summer nights you can pull this off beautiful scent i really love this very addictive and very alluring kind of a scent okay and the sexiness is there so that's what basically is you forget about the note break, notes breakdown that's what you get from ch men all right so that's my first suggestion for sugary uh, night out sweet scent all right let me move to the second one <clears throat> this second scent i have with me you know already from title which one this could be this is actually is the pakora one in invictus the original the edt so i have a smaller bottle here so why i picked this i know many of you looking at you are like dude seriously this 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 stuff many of many of you guys you hate this stuff okay i know i understand i respect it i respect your nose i respect your taste and as many of you say this is too childish it just all wants to play play and then it does there's nothing like beautiful about it there's no art artistic aspect in it and there is nothing sophisticated but then back to the square one that very same question like what kind of fragrance women like you know many of you don't worry for the women you worry for your own enjoyment personal enjoyment and for your own satisfaction right but then you know you think about it some of you who are actually like of course you know like the world is about love you know you cannot go away from love it's it's all about communication the you know get to know someone you know that those early days of you know the getting to know each other the excitement so those memories you create you know those are very sweet memories you know like those are very sexy kind of uh, memories so that's why invictus come into play many people say this is a school kids sort of a juvenile scent it's a clubbing king and it's just as bad as 1 million well 1 million is a scent that was a big hit you cannot call it a bad scent it's a crowd pleaser and everything but it sold one of the most number of bottles in the world and i believe invictus was doing the same stuff it has that little bit uh, saltiness and the aquatic feel on the top of the sweetness and it's not as sickeningly sweet as that 1 million is to me to my nose at least when i put this on what i get is performance if someone say they didn't get performance from invictus they're seriously either their their nose blocked or they're lying or they are simply hate this stuff that's all this stuff really lasts like crazy 7 8 hours on your skin it will stay on your shirt it will stay if you go and hug someone they will catch that fragrance on them and then they they can smell it on their clothes or their skin all right so why i'm taking talking about invictus is there is something sexual about this there's something attractive seducing about this fragrance because of that sweetness in this okay and along with it that aquatic feel that light feel of it that is not so heavy it's not going to choke you or uh it's not going to get you like for example i'll give you eros you know eros is a beautiful scent you know don't take it wrong i love eros but eros in the opening it's too aggressive you know it's like so with the claws and stuff and the heavy mint note is just like mm. but this is sexy right from the beginning i wore it i got compliments i got okay i never mind what i got okay what i'm trying to say is i got compliments from this women ask me what you're wearing and you're smelling yummy go figure i mean the original is good enough now there is so much talk about like jeremy he was uh, trying to say the uh, the new one the invictus aqua is nice i smelled it but to my nose they're kind of similar and thing is that one is a bit weakened because it's supposed to be summer scent summer version of this but to me this is summer version of this already and this one will last much longer and this one going to get you that compliments that i just told you about and it's going to project very nicely you know it's just like people around you like 5 6 10 feet away they're going to like smell you if there's a bit 
air going on you know like you get breezy this fan and air conditioning it's gonna flow nicely in the room hallway anywhere in the closed room if there's a little bit breeze it's gonna float around and then it's going to create that aura around you like you know you're gonna feel like a king you're gonna feel like a not angel maybe a devil a little bit of playboy because of the sweetness in this and look at the color of the juice it's bad boy written all over it okay so basically some of us we like that we like to be the bad boy sometimes we like to be the you know the evil man because we like to you know get compliments we like to be liked all right and loved so invictus for me did it and then i got few of 50 ml bottles which i got have regrets like dhi i always had regrets this one i am regretting now should have gotten a bigger bottle maybe i'll get a bigger bottle already because before they get re reformulated forget about the presentation it looks like a trophy and whatnot you just hold it and no don't do that okay maybe they deserve a better bottle but never mind respect to paco Rabanne for creating such a fragrance that lasts the new one million reformulation doesn't last doesn't work it's gone in pff, one one hour gone this stuff doesn't go that's what i'm saying take a look at invictus try to love it even if you don't love it if you want ladies to love you just wear it wear the goddamn thing you know <laughs> so uh for me like night out i found this one works even daytime i took it several times by the beach i went to next to the coastal areas i took this and some trips i also took it works perfectly for long journeys if you are driving it will perform on you all right very pleasant and very beautiful scent my recommendation to you pakura one invictus okay and then oh yeah sorry i forgot to show you the for those who haven't got it yet there's a spray right here the little button here very cool you just press it it will go like a little bit squirt it's like taking a piss or something but then and then see the big spray boom <sighs> yes yes aqua one invictus man salute to you all right okay so getting to the last fragrance this is my favorite out of this three in this bunch all right and i have reviewed it uh one of my earlier videos where the video quality wasn't that good and then maybe I was not talking very with so much enthusiasm so I got complaints like what the hell are you doing dude get better you know like try to be more specific okay so that's why I'm bringing it back in my video and then this is none other than the legend one and only one of the most well crafted one of the most seducing and one of the most gorgeous you know like nice night out sense this changes the whole definition of a night out sexiness dark fragrance at the same time the sex appeal you know if you're thinking about sex appeal this la nuit de l'homme the whole bottle the cap and the juice i see the gradual the darkness with the little bit playing with the greenish juice inside the black cap and the moment you smell it you know it's lanoid alone there's nothing that smells like it yes there are um, comparisons with salvatore ferragamo f black which i also happen to like it's more like a seven out of ten it's kind of a scent for me which i don't reach for that much and i can't exactly wear it in the dead heat or the hotter condition no way this was initially this is actually a flanker to the loam you know why it's so long which is a very sweet sort of like Hugo Boss bottle that sort of a scent pleasant scent likable scent close cuddling kind of a friendly scent you know indoors as Jeremy mentioned and I must admit I have to give credit to Jeremy for for you know the way he made this uh, must get for many young individuals okay and actually thank you Jeremy for making this that popular without your recommendation or without your maybe um love for it lanoid i respected the love that you have for this fragrance bro you know the way you talked about it the way you keep bringing it back the way you have your passion and the way you show your relationship to this fragrance and then you wanted those compliments from the girls from this fragrance and you got them i saw your face lightening up so i saw it so basically thanks jeremy for you know i thanks jeremy i thank jeremy for this fragrance so let me tell you 
Why is this special? First of all, as I told you, mine is a 2014 formulation. Luckily, I have to get the last, maybe the decent batch. The juice a bit darker, not as dark as the first batches, like the when it was really strong and potent. But still, it really works for me. Four or five hours, I still get projects nicely, one to two hours, okay? But this is not like the one I just showed a while ago. The Invictus doesn't have that beastly performance, no. It doesn't have the projection, it doesn't have the longevity. So why is it special? Simply you can, guys can ask, this is not cheap. This, you have to pay around 100 USDs or 100 ml, this is 100 ml bottle. I really wish I got 200 ml. So why, I re why this is special to me among all my fragrances? Why do I say this is the unique scent? Why is it, what makes it different? Well, when you, it's basically it's all about the juice, okay? bottle presentation everything can be fantastic but juice can be shit so that at that point it won't make any sense okay so for a very long time this was one of my latest like my last few buys it was i didn't get this in the beginning i was confused should i get this people talk about reformulation doesn't last sounds like this is expensive stuff so why should i get it and i sniffed it several times in the mall in a piece of paper never tried on my skin so i was like not that impressed i'm like this is a very weak sweet nothing special scent all right but then, you know, my last, almost like the last uh, few months of my last purchases, I happened to go to the mall. So I went to the YSL counter. I'm like, you still around? I'm like, let's give it a try. I tried Kuros. I tried Long. I tried the, which one was the other one? The Blue uh, Flanker. This, uh, what was it called? Forgot the name. The, with the Blue Stem, all right? So I tried all that. Then I tried this. I sprayed on my skin. I'm like, lady, please spray it here. Brought it forward. And something happened at that moment, you know. It was like falling in love with the beautiful, beautiful lady. Mysterious lady. Sexy lady. I would imagine a French lady who had this nice hat. Beautiful scarf around her. And she's an elegant lady and she's driving a Jaguar. Something of a classy lady. I fell in love immediately. I bought it the next day. So everybody has a story with La Nuit de Lom. I didn't follow the hype only. I followed my instinct. I followed my nose. And trust me, see the amount of juice going down. This one grows on you. If you don't happen to love it first time, the opening burst of a little bit of bergamot, a little bit the lemony sort of feel, along with the cardamom. It's just so alluring. It's... It doesn't play with you. It doesn't um, trick to you. It doesn't do any tricks to you. Okay. It doesn't say like, hey, I'm going to give you a gorgeous top note. And then on the dry run, I'm going to like show you one of those fingers. No. This one gets better and better with the dry down. More is on the skin, better it gets. Trust me, guys. It, it gets, it gets such uh, sensual and such a like sexy night out kind of a scent. You put this here and if a lady happens to get to just know you and then she comes and gives you a hug and smells it here on your neck, she's going to give you a kiss. She's going to bite you. She's going to make sounds like, hmm, yeah, I'm not joking. This is not a joke. I'm serious about this. So bottle they made, the name they gave, La Nuit de Lom. It really works. This is one of those flankers that actually outshined their original like if you think of the movie terminator one it was great arnold schwarzenegger was the man but then they made terminator 2 which happened to be the biggest hit of terminator whole series there was nothing not, never a big, better movie of terminator that is better than terminator 2 so that outshined the number one exactly same case happened to this baby okay this is better than any other flankers they have of loam or la nuit de loam i haven't tried the ultimate but then until now, I have a feeling, this is it, there's a frozen column, there's a perform, whatever. I'm going to have this in my collection forever. I promise to myself, all right? The f Even the poster, there's this French actor who happened to be in that movie, if you remember, Unfaithful. He was the bad guy who gets killed by Richard Gere. He was the face of Loam. After that, there's some other guys. Whatever poster they put, I could exactly see what they're trying to do. And that's what they came up with. You get that cookie feeling. You get that 
bit of like a, if you're thinking of tiramisu or something dessert like I told you about Valentino Umo intense as it dries down from cardamom and bergamot it goes slowly towards the lavender and then it mixes with some other elements I'm not quite sure what they use because I'm not specialist on notes but then you get that amazing yummy dessert after the dinner with the champagne tiramisu kind of a scent or chocolate or cake yep let me alone that's why women relate it to food something yummy and something classy <clears throat> that's why they relate it to that and that's why they love this if you're wearing other fragrances like even for dhi it's likely they may not like it sometimes because it's sometimes it's a bit strong with the lipstick note and whatnot or maybe Blue de Chanel because it's a bit, bit, bit more aggressive, a bit more manly. Sauvage, maybe it's a bit too younger, childish. Or maybe if I think of the new um, La Mala scents, sweet, but not as strong. So those are scents likely they may not like. If you wear this and next time you don't wear it and you wear something else, it's likely they're going to ask you one thing. You know what that question would be? What did you wear last time? You wore this, my friend. You wore this, right? So, they will say, what you're wearing right now is not as up class or as special as this one. So, as Jeremy said, go and spray a little bit on the pillow as you leave your girlfriend's place. Do it and see. They're going to give you a call back. Bam. That's it. Not trying to promote YSL. Let me alone. I love this fragrance. This, if I treasure, you know, being in a relationship, I would protect my girlfriend. I would be so protective of my girlfriend and also love her so much. Yes, I would love Lamine Delon as much. I love this fragrance to death, all right? So basically, this is the sweet scent, you know, because of the cookie. I told you the cookie, uh, the ones you get, like a very high quality cookie, and then the tiramisu kind of dessert. That sweetness is the reason why this is special. Nothing synthetic, nothing cheap. This is pure magic. Designer's game, I salute YSL for giving us this, all right? So basically, <laughs> that's all. And if you want to know my mark about it, my points on that, there's no point. There are a few fragrances, you cannot rate them. They're just perfect in every way. Complaints? No, nah, none for me, sorry. And. Uh, I love and purchase fragrance for a reason. If I hated them, I wouldn't buy them. That's basically my way of saying things, all right? So I talked a little bit more on the La Nuit de Lom. I actually want to do exclusive, but then I thought like I bring two other sweet fragrances just to give you the concept, all right? So guys, give it a try, you know? If you don't want to spend so much on the niche and you want to own some really good fragrances, uh, you can go for it. These are sweet fragrances that women really like. These are approved. They have stood the test of time. So basically that's all. And then, I'll come up with a few other new videos. I have a few places to go. I'll bring it up. I'll show it to you guys, all right? So for time being, from here, it's almost three. Signing out. Stay well. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.